Hello everyone, today we will be looking at the Philips Hue Smart 60 Watt A19 LED white and color light bulb. So this is a few, uh, this is a Philips Hue uh, light bulb system. Um, I actually been running these for a few years now. Uh, the light bulb looks like this, uh, but this one, this particular one died on me. So they say that LED light bulb lasts forever. Well, not forever, but for a long time, but I find that could be misleading. So the LED light itself the little led uh, diode those last a long time it's the circuitry that dies and in this case this light bulb was going out it was kind of blinking a little bit and then finally it, it started pulsating and i decided you know what i saw this kit on sale um on um prime day in july um so i it was like 40 percent off so i just picked it up to replace this um it was still working but it was about to go out and it did last me roughly five years um and i had this on a lot and i switched it around so i think that's pretty good but you know it looks like this but i could do a quick unboxing just to show you guys so yeah i'll put the link to the product below this is a four pack i believe they do sell it single and they do sell it in in pairs and in a four pack and i think i might have saw a six pack but you know this is the fancy phillips uh box uh boxing and this does do uh i think like uh, 16 million colors i think yeah 16 million colors and it could do temperature between 2k to 6500 which is similar to daylight and it, it, this could be controlled with the Phillips app, but I'm using it with Home Assistant. I have a Zigbee coordinator. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. I lied. This is a three pack. For some reason, I thought it was four pack, but this is a three pack. Three pack. Correct me. Um, so this is a three pack. Um, and this is the instructions that it comes with. Personal lighting system. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's just instructions and regulatory stuff that no one ever reads. So... We'll just get rid of this guy because no one cares. And these are the three light bulbs in the pack, which if you look at it, it looks similar to the one I bought a few years ago. The only difference is, I guess they have the Hue logo on here. Um, it's a little bit different. Um, this Actually, this one looks a little bit bigger now compared to the old one. I feel, I feel that this is glass. The old one's glass. It's heavier. This is lighter actually and it feels plastic so it looks like they might have changed it a little bit so it is a little bit bigger in diameter it feels like plastic this feels like glass the old version probably cut to cut cost and then it does bluetooth and zigbee i'm going to connect it with my zigbee coordinator but yeah so that's i guess that's the difference between the two i thought it would be exactly the same but i guess they went through some um changes so what i'll do is um I'm, i have a little adapter i'm going to hook it up and show you guys how to pair this particular light bulb if you're not using a hue um app to pair it to home assistant but that's pretty much the unboxing nothing special three light bulbs um let's go ahead and take a look at how you pair this guy up so i have this little adapter that plugs a light bulb into it and there's a two prong adapter so i'll just take one of these light bulbs out here and then i'll put this here screw this guy in so from my experience with phillips is when you pair it when it's not paired to anything it will look your Zigbee coordinator will look for it and will find it and it will uh, tell you to pair it. If you want to unpair it, you just delete it from your Zigbee uh, coordinator and then this will go back into pairing mode. There's no buttons or anything to put the light in pairing mode. So just keep that in mind. So now I'm going to plug it into power. So it lights up, right? So I'm going to go over to my screen here. So let me switch over to my screen. So this is my home assistant. As you can see, I have lots of lights. So I'm going to go to configurations, which is here. And then I'm going to go to devices and services. And I'm going to scroll all the way down. Here's my Zigbee automation coordinator. So I'm going to hit this. 
And then I'm going to hit, uh, oops, I'm going to look at all my devices and I'm going to add device, which is on the lower right corner, which was cut off for whatever reason, but I hit plus there. And now, as you can see, it's searching for this light bulb. So we'll just give it a few, few minutes here and it should find it. As you can see, it finds it and it already saw it and it interviewed it already. So that's how quick it is. So it sees the light bulb and then you just pretty much assign an area. So, so I'm just going to call this, let's see, let's call it new light bulb. That's it. And then after that, you're pretty much done. You just go back, look for new light bulb, which is here on this list. And as you can see, it sees the company name and the model number. So it looks like I have some old versions here. This is the old version, but this is a new one. So I'm going to click on it. And then right now it's on and it sees it. So I could, I could already control it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move over back to my bird's eye view here. Okay, so I'm back here on this view here. I'm going to pull up my phone here, and then I'm going to show you guys. So let's look at new, what, what do we call it? New light bulb, right? So I'm going to search for it. New light bulb right here. So this is Home Assistant um, being controlled by my Zigbee coordinator, which is a little USB dongle that I have on a computer that's on the USB port. So as you can see, I can control it now. I could do that. There's some preset colors that I could choose here. So I got total full control. I could do color loop and it does a color loop on here. Or you want granular control with colors. You can move on a color wheel. And this is the controls on the color wheel, as you can see. So it's pretty quick. Or if you want to do a light uh, white balance, you could always choose your white balance around here and what K that you want it. So this is on Home Assistant. You don't necessarily need a Hue Hub and a Hue, um, a Hue Hub or use the Hue app. Um, you could just simply get uh, a, a Zigbee coordinator. I'll put the link below if you're interested in it. Hook it up to an open source project like Home Assistant and get it controlled. So for me, I like everything unified in one system. So Home Assistant is my go-to system. And I've been using this to uh, control all of my Hue lights. So I don't even have a Hue hub, but everything's controlled through uh, through Home Assistant, and you can control the brightness here, and you can turn it on and off here as well. So yeah, so it's pretty cool. Um, you know, that's pretty much it. Um, just want to show you guys uh, what I did to. Um, you know, it kind of sucked that this bulb died, but it did last me five years, and I'm pretty happy with Hue products. They are a little pricey, but I think it's worth it. It seamlessly worked on Home Assistant paired really easily the color vibrant on these bulbs are awesome and i love them so there you have it that's pretty much it guys that's the quick tutorial with this uh, product if you like the video you know what to do like always thank you for watching and i will see you guys in the next video peace out till next time